are ready for this Japan egg update. Maybe we can unlock some of these pets early. We have some pets already in our Adami inventory that are either from Japan or like based on Japanese culture. We are going to be doing a Japan pet only trading challenge. Let's do it. Before we get into the video, we are doing a crazy giveaway, you guys. We are giving away a Neon Sly Ride Unicorn to one of you guys. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your Roblox username down below. Oh, and make sure to use star code JEPO when buying Robux. Okay, let's say! It's your boy, Samurai Jeffo. We have Chimkin with the little Kitsune mask. We are ready for this Japan egg update. I cannot wait for this thing. But listen, we've been thinking about it and we realized, A, maybe we can unlock some of these pets early. B, I think this whole Japan egg release is a really cool way to celebrate the amazing Japanese culture. And C, we have some pets already in our Adami inventory that are either from Japan or like based on Japanese culture. So to get absolutely hyped for the ridiculous the japan egg coming out in two days we have the crane we have the other mystery bird we are going to be doing a japan pet only trading challenge let's do it trading only japan pets look at us do not mess with your boy we have the katana here i'm gonna trade this guy i was scrolling through hold on let's go through here oh i think we went too far hold on this is the first one for me the ninja monkey which is so incredibly cute oh he's already going for it so as you know chimkin ninjas were basically like the spies of old japan they were sneaky they were stealthy they would throw ninja star at you oh I think we might have a ninja problem here. I'm gonna have to probably look into that. Anyways, I think we go through with this because we're gonna try to trade all of the different Japan pets in anticipation. Oh, you guys, this crane I think is very pretty. Oh, I think this guy is gonna be such a good addition to our army. So let's see if anybody else is interested. Trading Japan pets. Yo, some people are saying Jeffo OMG. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Are you in the Fruit Loop Samurai army for the Japan egg update? That is the real question. Okay, why are we all lined up? I just stopped moving and there's a chimkin. Chimkin? What chimkin? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, all right, here, we'll trade chimkin. Now, what would be the next pet that is based on Japanese culture? I was thinking about this and chimkin had a little hint to that. There, chimkin's little mask is called a kitsune mask. And as you guys might know, the kitsune is a pet that came out a long time ago. It actually came out around the time that I started doing Adami YouTube, which I think is kind of cool. Where is it? It's a legendary, isn't it? So the kitsune has nine tails. But here is the interesting thing that maybe some of you guys did not know. It is from Japanese folklore, but kitsunes are actually able to shapeshift. They can shapeshift into humans. All right, we'll trade the kitsune. Let me see here. I don't think the kitsunes in this game can shapeshift. Let's just check. There's no way a kitsune can shapeshift. Definitely not into a human. So we're on the kitsune. What? Banana chimkin? How did that happen? Banana chimkin, what happened? Wait, kitsune, did you turn into the mega neon banana chimkin? Hold on a minute. Oh no, we still have him. We're all good. All right, now what would the next pet that we trade be? Trading Japan pets only. Wait, this guy, look at this guy. He's a Fruit Loop. Okay, I'm gonna send him a trade request, which by the way, if you guys wanna be a member of the Fruit Loop Army on YouTube, if your phone's like that, turn it this way, hit that little red subscribe button and turn it gray. I'll give you guys three seconds. Three, two, one. Did you do it? Okay. Oh, let's go. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And of course, now you have a chance to win a giveaway every single video. Video. This guy is trying to give us something for free, but we need to be trading him a Japan pet. What is another pet from Japan or Japanese culture? You know what? Let's get creative here. You know what I like? I like sushi. I love the sushi. We're going to make our own sushi. What do we need with sushi? Seaweed? Okay, so we wrap it with the seaweed. We need rice, but I don't think we have any rice. We need fish. Okay, maybe we'll do a clownfish. So we have the seaweed. We have the fish. Maybe some wasabi. Some green wasabi to make it a little bit spicy. You know, I don't think there's any wasabi in this game. We're gonna have to do... No, I think we're just gonna have to make do with the cure-all, and we're gonna hope for the best. Now, let's go! We have to hide somewhere while we can figure out the next pet to trade that has to do with Japan. Okay, I teleported to Petware, but the Fruit Loops know that I'm always teleporting all over the place, so we are not safe just yet. So another Japan pet. What about... Oh, you know, here's one that you guys might not know. In Japan, there is actually a salamander called the Giant Salamander, and this thing is big. I'm not even kidding. Editor, look at... 
that. Oh, wrong photo. Editor, look at that. I'm gonna give him a couple big brew potions. I'm gonna make him an actual giant salamander and we're gonna trade it. There is our giant. Oh, he's moving so fast. Look at this guy. He's out of control. Where did we even just go? Oh man, we are out here. Okay, I'm gonna say trading giant salamander. Yo, nobody can keep up with us. Look at us. Who wants to trade for the giant salamander? Oh, this girl's like, Jeff, oh, run. Here, just because of that, I'm sending her a trade. Here we go. We'll do four salamanders. You can make a neon from that. Oh, she wants the ancient dragon. We do not have that. I need to work on a mega actually for that. You're you're the famous Jeffo, nice to meet you. OMG, I'm a big fan. Please take this for free. Cause we have to get on to the next trait because I saved the best for last. Me and Chimkin were doing some very serious research and let's just say the pets get a little bit legendary and a little bit mega neon after this. It gets a little bit crazy. There you go, enjoy your giant salamander. But Fruit Loops, are we really done? Because we are missing one of the most important pets from Japan and I wanna know what you guys think it is. I'll give you a hint, it's a dragon. So Here's the tea. I'm just gonna tell you because I'm impatient. So as you guys may or may not know, dragons are all over Japanese folklore. It's really cool. It's like a staple of Japanese folklore. And the dragons oftentimes, they don't necessarily look like a frost dragon or a shadow dragon. They actually look more like, like a frost fury. They're a little bit longer and they've got these tiny little arms and legs just being cute. So we are gonna trade frost furies. Trading frost fury, AKA the dragon from Japanese folklore. Oh, this girl says she's in Sunny's and Jeffo's group. Here, I sent her a trade request because we don't usually have people saying they're in the group in their bio. Okay, I say we don't want to mess around. I'm going to put up the neon. I can never part with your boy Mega Fred. Oh, she just wants it for free. Oh, that's really interesting. I'm just going to ask, did you have an offer? She says, yeah, bro, I don't mind if you don't have like the best pets ever. That's cool. But you know, part of Adopt Me is trading. It's not exactly trading, Chipkin, <laughs> if we're just giving the pets away all the time. Let's see your best offer. All right, a lunar white tiger. Okay, I guess just a lunar white tiger. Well, if that's the case, here, we'll do a regular Frost Fury. I would not want to trade a neon legendary pet no longer in game for something like this, but we'll do it with the regular one just out of celebration for the new Adopt Me update with the Japan egg update. All right, we will confirm. Oh, Mega Fred, where are you going? I guess we're just kind of chilling out. It looks like he's trying to find something, but it seems like there are actually a lot of Japan pets around, and that's pretty cool. Like that ninja monkey throwing the ninja stars. Wait, I think we still have some guy throwing ninja stars. Wow, well, oh, oh, bye for a loop. Woo! Well, that was a fun trading video. I cannot wait for the Adopt Me update. And if you guys like this video, definitely check this one out right here. And remember, you can get your very own Chimkin at shopdepo.com. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye for loops.